Uh, wow. A lot of powder in the Perfect. bottom of this bag. Ew. Oh, nice. I also don't know, are those noodles? <laughs> hey, Coomer, this is possibly what he sat on. What is it, Reed? Lots of powder yeah, in the bottom of this. On December 31st, 2023, Dayton law enforcement pulls over a vehicle with five occupants, and not one of them have a valid license. During the search, the officers find more than they bargained for. Do birds of a feather really flock together? You guys are wanting to run the dog? So, yeah, we're having a dog for now. All right, we'll need to get them out. We're going to get these people out. If you guys got someone we can put in the back seat, we can get them. Back in the car. We're going to have you guys go ahead and step out, all right? Go ahead and face the car for me. Keep, just keep your hands out of pocket for me, alright? You don't have your weapons on you, do you? The guns like that? Right. Are you going to go on something, man? Are you working on you? Nothing. Go ahead and put this phone across. Small phone. Your phone's back here, man. Yeah, yeah. It's right here in your back pocket, alright? Nah, nah, that ain't it. I got it. Whose phone is it? That's mine. Okay. okay. I thought you said you were looking for your phone. I am. I got two phones. Oh, you got two the phones? The other one's right there on okay. the seat, no, so it'd be fine. No, that's not it. That's all right, man. We'll find it in a minute, all right? Is that your jacket? Yeah. Okay. We're going to have to come back to the car right here, all right? Oh, you got a little bit of a hat on there. Yeah, I got a little bit of a hat on there. Okay. Like marijuana, I'm not worried about it. It's marijuana. Oof. If that's what you're talking about. Marijuana is legal now. No, they wouldn't be that that they would have. Okay, so what would they have? Um, I know the one in the back. I don't know him that well, but I'm just afraid that they would throw it on like my floor or something. Yeah. Do you use? No. No. I don't know. I don't do nothing. They got okay, so me. So what do they use? Dope. Dope. Yeah. So you think that might be it's possible? I don't know. Okay. Well, I understand. I just I, I can't I can't I really can't tell you because I don't know. I know. But I, I don't. I appreciate you honest with me. So, do you mind if I search your vehicle then? What happens if I say no? I mean, like, I don't want to, you know, I'm not. I'll just, get a, I'll just get a dolly out here to see. That's what I'm saying. So, like, I don't want to sound like an asshole. Okay. Well, no, I don't I, want I, I it to come back on me if they have something. I understand what you're saying. And if it's <laughs> if it's in front of their feet on the floor, well, I can articulate that that's theirs, not yours. But if it's at the driver's seat, like underneath the pedals or something like that, I mean, that's. Okay, well, one of them put one of their book bags in my trunk. Okay, so there's a book bag in the trunk? That's what I'm afraid of. Okay, well, if it's their book bag. It's, it's not, not my book, book bag. bag. And if anybody in the car says it's... Here's what I'm saying. So everybody in that car tells me, well, that's your book bag, there's a different story. But if people in the car say, well, that's not her book bag, it's so-and-so's or whatever, that's different. But I'm going to go ahead and just get a canine out here. To... No, don't do that. Okay, so... You can go ahead. I don't want you to have to go the extra mile. I don't mind. No, It's really don't. better if I do, honestly. No, you can go So you let me search the car? You can go ahead. Okay, well, just sit tight for me, okay? Okay. Mom, you and Diane get in your car right now. Y'all both got a license. You got to come get my car. Where are you at? Right here on Helena Street. Was you driving? Yes. Should have had somebody else drive. None of them have a license. But do you? No. So what they found? They're searching my car and they got stuff on them. Well, they better not took that shit. And then bullets are in my glove box. Oh, so I don't think that matters, though. They said because they ran the tags and it's OR to a suspended license. They're arresting more. Why? Because he has drugs on him. They're arresting all of them. What do you think is, is, if you don't mind me asking, which one do you think is leaving stuff in your car? Well, if anything was left in there, it would be in the back seat by the ones in the back. Okay, who's who's back there? What, what are their names? Um, I only know I only know the one guy's name. I don't know the other guy's name. And he goes by of uh, more. And would that be in his book bag or in the back seat? That book bag. Okay. What, what does that book bag look like? You know? Uh, no, I don't know. I just know he said uh, when we picked them up, because that's who we just picked up. He said, "Can you pop the trunk so I can put my stuff in there?" Gotcha. Okay, we'll just continue to sit tight with us, and we're gonna get this worked out, all right? Okay. Okay. Uh, wow. A lot of powder in the bottom of this bag. Ew. Oh, nice. I also don't know. Are those noodles? Hey, Coomer, this is possibly what he sat on. What is it, Reed? Lots of powder yeah, in the bottom of this, but I don't know if that's like... Hey, if there's a gun in this car, it's loaded for very... There's a gun in the bag here. Oh, is there? perfect. Let, Let me uh, clear this real quick. Weapons under. Hey, 
Oh my God. Hey. Um, do this for uh, mm -hmm. hold the light. Thank you. We got a 40. God, it's stuck, whatever it is. It might not be. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's a. Is it? No. It's a pug gun. So what? That's a pug gun. It's an airsoft gun. Oh, that's too bad. It looks real. Okay. All right. Oh. Well, well, there's a magazine in here. Yeah. Two so three. He confirmed it's eleven oh five. Yeah. Wayne, and then the subject's the gonna be on the back patio. Oh, it hasn't gone. <laughs> okay. All right, over there. Thank oh, you. Uh, that looks it's like a real gun. That right? That's because uh -huh. it is a real gun. Here we go. How oh is it? It's going to be that little button on the bottom. Huh? Yeah. It's a little 22. That's a real gun. So we just need to figure out whose uh, bag this is, like confirmed, so that way we can see whose weapon's under. Yeah, this. Is a BB gun. Yeah, because you see how it says model SW40? Uh huh. That would be. Yeah, we got a gun in the bag. One fake and one real, so. Fake and one real, so. Uh, right. Dual gun. Well, I'm saying the 22 is a 25 auto. Yeah, you think this is like. like <laughs> <laughs> He says 25 auto? My dad has one of those. They're like all German 25. That's crazy. Go ahead and see for me, right? Can you make sure you get my phone, please? Big M on it? Big M on the back. I'll make sure you get it. Thank you. She ain't got no lies. She pulled out on some crazy shit. I, I know for sure. I ain't, I ain't you feel me? That shit over for us. I ain't even gonna see it. I don't even know about no bad. You feel me? Like, I ain't even gonna be about no bad. You feel me? Like, I know I'm not gonna. You feel me? Push come and shove. I'll take it. Because I brought it. Right. But I just put him in the trunk, like, bro, because I thought we was coming straight back. To, we was supposed to be going straight back to the crib after the liquor, after the getting the cigarettes, bro. I'm not blaming nobody for the turn, cause I ain't even feel no right, like no turn, like crazy turn. You feel me? Right. So I can't even blame that. And you feel me? I should've never brought the backpack. Mm -hmm. I should've never brought the backpack, bro. I know I'm about to go down, even though there ain't no bullets in there or nothing. You feel me? All right, guys. I'm gonna be honest with both of you, okay? Okay. Found a gun in the back seat or in the trunk. Okay. okay. In the backpack. I just need to know. Who owns it? Okay. Yes. I answer what's up. Okay. All I need to know whose backpack it is. I got one person saying that it's someone's in this car. Okay. So that narrows it down to it's out my of the five people, two people here. So I just need to know who's it is. It's my backpack, sir. It's your backpack? Yes, sir. What's your name? She killed me. Okay. But like, this a misdemeanor for real, because they say we're not going to Alright, do me a favor, turn around and face that way, put your hands behind your back. Put your hands yeah. like you're praying, make it easy. Yeah. Break make the, the clap them together. Yep. I'm trying to make this as loose as possible without getting too tired. Oh yes sir, thank you, appreciate it. You've been cooperative with me, so I'm trying to be as loose as I can with you, okay? Okay, you can go. Hold on a second, let me, let me double lock them so they don't get tight on me. I'll get your property here in a minute, okay? okay. Trevor, yeah. don't take that off there, please. Go ahead and have a seat. I'll get you back on there. Yeah, right? Yeah. All right. Oh, Are you ready to Miranda rights at all? Yeah. Honestly, man, I'm not her for real. Be honest with you, man. I just came home from prison, basically. And I, honestly, I've been out here really up tonight. Tonight was the only night I had a chance to really kick in. I was about to go back to my people's house. We about to just kick, chill, like. And, yeah. and then much misfortunate that we got pulled over. You feel me? Yeah. Like, but you obviously you could tell there's no bullets in the gun. Yeah. 
Like, it's harmless. You see me? I have no bullets on me. You found no bullets nowhere around the gun or... I don't know nothing about that. Yeah, so obviously, like, but just knowing that I just came home from prison doing 10 years with a felonious assault on my record, I know they about to, you feel me? No matter if the gun, the, uh, the weapon didn't have no, you feel me, ammunition in it. Yeah, I mean, that might, I don't know if when you go to court that will smile favorably upon that or not. Like, I don't know. I just know the answer is going to have guns anyway if you got, you did some years of felonious, whether they're loaded or not. You know what I mean? Well, I'm already knowing, man. I, I do appreciate you being honest with us about it. It's not no point. I'm 31 years old. Ain't no point of lying. I just, like I said, I just did 10 years in the joint. Ain't no point of lying to nobody. You feel me? I wish more people thought about you did, man. Ain't nobody. Everybody ain't grown. Everybody ain't did 10 years when they went in. They 21 year old. You feel me? I really I wish I'd come back to you and ask you first because I was going around. Because I'm so used to people lying to me, man, that when I started getting stories and making sure things lined up. You know what I mean? Right. I just come back to you first. I was just waiting back in that car for the 15 minutes I did. So honestly, that's the, the dog found a baggie. So the dog hit on the car right there in the back there. And there was a really baggie in there, but there wasn't any, like, not enough for us to test. You know what I mean? Right. Um, so you're but, not getting any drug charges or nothing like that. I thought you were worried about nah, it. No, 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 no. I'm just worried. Like, that's why y'all searched the vehicle. Yeah, so... I searched the just because the driver was kind of giving me a lot of, she didn't know it was in her car and stuff like that, you know. Hold on, hold on, she didn't know what was in her car. She just said she didn't know what would be in her car and she didn't want to get in trouble for it. What? I, and you didn't even, you didn't even mention nothing about searching the car or nothing. No, I'm just saying like you didn't mention nothing about searching the car or nothing. She just, she just told you. No, at the, at the end of the day, if a canine gets on the car, we're going to get in Right. So we didn't need her to say yes or no, so we didn't call her ass. So, so the, 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 just off the baggie alone? Yeah, we just let the dog get on the car. Under. Who questioned the girl? You did? Questioned her? She was voluntarily... <laughs> voluntarily just saying it. Yeah. Honestly, you... you Honestly, I ain't gonna lie. I looked at it like this, man. You feel me? If the dog... If she would've never lied, you feel me? Because she kept... She gave me y'all hints. Like, you, you saying, you asked her, like, but is there anything in the car? She, like, I, when you questioned her by yourself, she was probably you was saying, like, da, da 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 She was like, I don't know, you might, you feel me? I don't know what's going to be in there, basically. Well, it's not necessarily her fault. I mean, she, but some people can't help when they give tells like that, man. Like, you know what I mean? I don't think she was trying to get you in trouble. I'm not, shit. But, like, you know, when people start acting nervous, that's when I start asking more questions, you know? And, and, if, for me. and if the dog wouldn't have hit, it would have been cool. Yeah, I think if the dog wouldn't have hit, probably wouldn't have had much of a problem because I wouldn't have, unless she said I could search, so I, we would have done that, but. I ain't even about to use no one phone call, bro. Like, it's not even no point. Sit out here like a man, bro. <sighs> Sit out here like a fucking man, bro. She got the singing like a canary bro get away y'all need she ain't solid y'all the female suspect in the video was summoned to court for driving without a license the man was arrested and taken to county jail on charges would you call her a snitch or a rat can you respect the man for owning up share your thoughts by subscribing and commenting below